Hi, I'm Lisa Joanne Iverson and I am the artist behind Fishy Friends and I write stories for for children but for general audience basically but uh, I am here working on um, I'm not sure what it'll turn out to be but I'm having some fun with my watercolors anyway come along with me and let's see what we make so first thing I'm gonna do I've got a a pad of watercolor paper sorry for my close hands there um, so I'm gonna wet my paper so that's this is cascade green Wow beautiful colors and because the paper's wet it's just climbing everywhere almost be a bush and some grass Beautiful. So I am uh, learning and uh, so I'm just also with the learning trying to get used to the uh, amount of uh, water I need in my paint in order for it to flow properly etc and uh, not do all the things that I see on YouTube videos where people are like, don't do this with your watercolor paper, <laughs> with your watercolors. Oh, I think I just did that. I know I'm just supposed to let this run and I don't think I've got my table at the right angle. So, wow, a lot of self-depreciation today. Let's turn that around. Because <laughs> the things are looking up. Got a lot of good things on the go. So if anybody um, out there follows anything um, like my uh, Facebook, I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I am on Twitter, but I don't actually don't uh, do a, a lot of posting. I do more reposting. I've got to figure that out yet. Um, uh, my beautiful little Annika, my company usually here in my art room, um, she passed away uh, just over a week ago and I miss her dearly in here. She's usually flopped down on my floor and um, I'm usually hyper aware and hyper vigilant not to disturb um, <laughs> puppy sleep, which is funny um, to the point where I would be working and if I made too big of a noise, sometimes she'd jump up, you know, just to high, high alert, like what was that? And I'd feel terrible. <laughs> or even if I needed something across the room I would wait until she decided she was done with her nap. I mean, it's terrible, but I just loved her so much and she was definitely an older dog. She was sort of at the end of the lifespan for her breed, a uh, miniature schnauzer. Um, but anyway, I miss her being everywhere and underfoot. So, so we've got some interesting things here. I know um, one of the, I wish I could remember his name, He's Australian. He's a watercolorist that I had been kind of watching on uh, YouTube. Uh, suggested, you know, when you pull your brush, this is this isn't to do with the uh, the paint being too dry or anything. It's just that I had pulled my brush too quickly across the surface, and you get these patches where the paper comes through. But uh, but it actually suggests some great texture. So I've got some great texture in there. And we don't know what this is yet, but it's going to be it's going to be fun. I love the coloring in here, and I do find that these uh, Daniel Smith 
watercolors are um, they've got this granular uh, granularity to them they're beautiful um, that's a little bit of sort of texture that's in there so um, Hmm, what next? I think we need some contrasting colors, uh, just a little bit. So I'm going to put some some dark in there, darker than the dark I had, I think. Um, I've got some black just in my palette here that was kind of dried, so I'm just wetting it. And I, I don't know. some of what we did before. I do like that, but we'll just hope that some of it either blends or comes through. And again, we're getting that texture across, which is okay. I think I'm thinking of my fishy friends as I'm doing this, even though this wasn't intended for that. Um, so what we're getting here is uh, the ocean floor. I like that idea. So this is interesting. I like this line work that's kind of coming through there. I like the texture that kind of came across there and the undercurrent of colors that were there before. And I love the blending or spreading because the water was too thick there. That's kind of nice. So I'm going to stop there and maybe just uh, give this, I've got a hair dryer right here. This definitely looks like an underwater scene to me. So I'm sure if I had any of my, uh, my younger folk around here, my nieces, Kendall and Evan, uh, they might suggest to me that, um, I could put some fish in there and I think that's what I'll do. Um, so here we go with the hair dryer. What I'm going to do is I love using Sharpie markers. Um, I'm hoping it won't bleed. I don't think that it will. This is a fine point. And um, I just like outlining things or, you know, pre-drawing or... So what I'm going to do... Um, just because I like the idea, is outline my picture. Something about it just makes me feel happy. Other day I might not outline my picture, but today I feel like it. And I'm going to pre-sign it. Now, fishy friends. I think I see a jellyfish in here. So I'm just going to loosely add that. Maybe some boop boop dots. That's kind of fun. And uh, maybe a crab down here. And Maybe a clam over here. And of course, a school of fish. What would we do without a school of fish? And we're just going to just plop them in here and just. Should we do? We got one, two, three, four, five. We should do a couple more. Oh, that guy was missing a little bit of a nose, and he got a bigger jaw. That's kind of fun. That guy got a little mustache, and I can hear one of my friends saying, "A fish with a mustache." <laughs> of course. 
Uh, I think we need like um. I probably got the tail wrong. I'm not looking at any pictures here, so it's just gonna be what it's gonna be for our drawing here. sure who that is but I like him he looks happy and hmm. oh some seaweed we need some seaweed a few rocks just something or I guess it could be coral but something there everybody's just going about their day I think it's day because this looks like there's light up there so now that I've just had a bit of fun with the sharpie marker let's have some fun with the paint so I'm just wetting my brush and Let's get bold with the colors. I think this jellyfish has some bright red on it. And then a complimentary orange. like a strawberry. I think that's the name of the, that, uh, <laughs> the jellyfish. It can be strawberry. Strawberry top. I really got to get my, my crew in here. They would be giggling at that one. And maybe just some yellow. I might come back to it after it dries. There. Whoop. Whoop. There. Now, this big guy up here, I think he's kind of got some blue to him. Uh, but first I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of Even for now, just wait until he dries up a bit. There, I like that. Okay, now seaweed should be like greens, bluey greens, I think. I mean, in reality, we can do anything we want, but. Let's just do that. And as you know, I I'm not I'm not trying to stay inside the lines, obviously, with that jellyfish, but um, I'm okay with breaking the rules like that. At least for now. I'm just swiping down the side of my brush. Brushes can be used in so many different ways. And I'm not concerned with like meeting the top of the page either. I think our imaginations can fill in so many things. And that's just such a wonderful thing. 
that uh, can each see things so differently. As long as we, we won't get into politics here, as long as we talk about those things, but... <laughs> But it is amazing. Everybody can get a different impression from something. So if I just kind of leave it a little bit more open. Here, like that. And since these are the same family, I'm going to add the same kind of colors, at least to start. And... I'm finding this bush is, it's beautiful, but I want to kind of add almost the same kind of family to it. So I don't know what I'm going to do here, but let's just, let's just see. It's almost turning into a coral for me. And I know, I don't know a lot about coral, but uh, geez, <laughs> I mean, I get to to create whatever, right? Uh, so we're not going for scientific fact here. We're just going to play. And so many times when I'm working on a picture, I just think like, oh, that was it. That was the moment that I possibly ruined what I was working towards and um, here's my trick keep going it's pretty amazing I mean yes some things sometimes don't work out um, but I think if you start with a very open mind um, a general direction um, and just stop and pa pause every now and then to reevaluate it. Um, you never know what can turn out, you know, if you kind of release the expectation of what it could be and just let it be. So, this is fun. This texture, this idea, it's almost like a giant flower at the bottom of the ocean or lettuce. And again, I can hear some smirking of that kind of silliness, lettuce, at the bottom of the ocean. But of course, what do fishes eat? Lettuce. At least in my story. There. We're going to fill that in, I think, a little bit more because I'm finding it's just a little bit bright. But And also, I'm finding that it's just floating in there, so I'm wanting to add like some shadow down there, but I don't quite know... I'll just kind of grab some darker because of course the sun is not in the ocean the sun is above it so there would be you know that contrast of dark below so at the risk of again thinking that maybe I'm ruining ruining part of what I've done I'm just going to kind of add what I think needs to happen there okay we got a few more creatures to fill in, and I'm not sure where we are with time. Since I'm not going to do this as a, a time lapse, this is going to just have the full, full edit. I think I'm going to put some red down here. Some fun with this beautiful, oh my gosh, cherry kind of red, and just dot that in. And again, there's I made lines, but I'm not following them. there and then maybe this bright and I I'm not using like I'm using my color watercolors not full strength but pretty darn close you know I'm just dabbing dipping and painting so it's I don't have a I know for like the the pros that I see the professionals that I see they they're organized I'm, I'm just having some fun today. So I'm going to have to add something into this so that it doesn't look like this strange red glob, but I do like the punch of color down there. Let's just put some, ooh, let's use, this maybe is where the 
So here's another technique for the, the brush is that I'm just sort of patting it down. I'm patting the, the bristles down. I'm not really sweeping or swiping. I'm just kind of letting the color drop onto the page. You see how that makes that neat texture and even like the ridge of it. So I'm going to keep doing that because I do like that. And again, like I could have stopped right there. I would have been like, ah, I wrecked that part of the corner. But you know, just keep going to see what you can do with it. If I could say, just don't add too much color. That's where, you know, limit it to two or three. Otherwise you're gonna end up with something a bit more murky and muddy. So this one, it's working out. And I'm gonna leave the kind of wet spots there. That's okay by me. They're gonna just kind of soften. Don't be afraid to go kind of a little bit back over your stuff if you feel the need to. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh, that is where that jellyfish lives. I like it. Um, that jellyfish, I just wanted to have a little bit more, maybe that same color then. So we're going to add just a fun hint of a layer with that deeper color that I had before. And I'm okay with... It's got this outer... I almost want to outline it again and let that be part of it. These jellyfishes, they're tricky. They've got shimmer and shine and I might add some shimmer and shine here in a minute. But this strawberry jellyfish brush kind of wiggle down and not letting the bristles open too much. This jellyfish just needed a little bit more love. There, a little bit more tangle. They look, they always look so tangly. I don't know how they just go and get caught and stuff. There, that one spot's just still bugging me a little bit. Maybe if I just fill it in. That is okay. Okay. So these seaweeds, let's add a little bit more color to them. I'm going to go for this bright green. It's beautiful. Layers. There, that's very seaweedish. Ocean floor to have a bit more brown in it. So I'm going to just sweep into the brown here. And I should probably use my bigger brush. Yep. That's what I need. I'm excited about this little clamshell here. I'm going to figure him out. So what's happening here with my paints is that it's kind of pulling up the dark that I had before and mixing it on the page with the darker colors that I had down. And I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm, I don't have specific expectations about how this is going to work. But then as you can see, I'm getting creative with this, this border that I've created. Just pulling the color down towards that line.
But I like this, the brown kind of warmed up that bottom floor. I like the layers and the texture that we got there. I'm gonna be careful around this crab. Um, that's fine. Okay, I need to do something with the big lettuce lettuce bush. Let's throw some brighter green in there. And I don't want to necessarily lose all of that color that I laid down in the beginning. It's still there and that texture is still there. From what I understand, watercolor is all about layers and patience. It's good practice. Okay, so I'm just going to sweep this out across. We need to do something with those fish up there. I think they're yellow. Let's do yellow. Perfect. Ooh. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, we got our crab and our clam yet to do. We're get we're coming into the home stretch here, so that's good. Uh, little crab. I think he would want to blend, so let's make him sort of a version of brown. Here's something. See how I've got too much too much on there. I don't want it to run, so I'm just gonna dry out my brush on the cloth and just kind of move it around and pick it up. There. I'm gonna let that dry, and I'll add another layer in a minute. And then this guy over here, I want him to blend as well. He can be a little hidden treasure off to the side here. So we'll do this. I think we need to put a pearl in his mouth too. There, even though it might not be the right kind of clam for the pearl, but in my story, it is. I like that. I'm going to put a little bit of that color on this guy, too. It's almost like he's got floppy ears like a dog, but it's supposed to be his back, back legs. We'll fix that. Okay. Good. I kind of got everybody looked at. Oh. I want this guy to have a little bit more blue. Let's do this dark blue, just to wash of it. There. 
there. That's kind of fun. It looks like he's flying. Now we get to have the fun part. I love this part. I'm going to play with, I've got some paints here. They're Van Gogh. My sister again gave them to me as a gift. Um, so I'm not sure. Anyway, they whatever sparkle or shimmer that you have at home that you can use, try adding that here. Pa paintings, it's, it's a lot of fun. It adds a lot of uh, depth, actually. This is what they look like when they're in black. What a difference, hey? Wow. Got that right? Okay. So let's play around with the green first. And we've already got this green in here. So we're going to just add, add some shimmer. And I am not watching for where I'm painting. It is just going on because I just want this to have some shine. Not everywhere, just random shine. And again, I am just kind of tapping it down. Beautiful. I think we might put a little bit of blue in that one too. So let's just have some fun with that. Let's put a little bit of blue. Beautiful. And we are using this blue on our, our shark-like fish as well. We'll get there. So here we go with the with this guy. Very nice. Now our jellyfish definitely needs a little a little hint of something. I'm looking at this one here, which is this one here. Again, I, I don't think I'll do the whole thing. I'll just do like an outside sheen and then some of the tent just might, I'm not going to follow the tentacles. I'm just going to create some new ones with this shine. And be really wiggly about it. There. And this crab down here needs a little bit of attention <laughs> so let's let's he looks a little mopey and sad let's not have him mopey and sad let's make him um, this 811 that i've named 811 needs a little bit of a shiny shell As you can see, this whole like little eyes, everything disappeared because I put a little bit too much water probably on it. So we'll fix that after. We'll throw in better detail. That is all right. Okay, and then our little uh, golden one here. Let's do this really bright. There. And again, I think I've got just a bit too much water but that's okay there we go haha -ha. we'll put a pearl in there and the goldfish up here i've got them a really like a green yellow but um hmm let's throw Let's throw this 848, this, this one on. I think, let's just see. Oh, I like that, that's nice. And these guys, ooh, I'm pulling some of that paint over. I'm gonna just throw some stripes on that one. I missed it on the first one, thought about it after. That's the way of it. 
straight, 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 straight. too late for that one but we'll figure that out maybe I could add um, oh, our seaweed add just one little bit and then the floor okay so seaweed that again would be this one I think let's just see Since we have a little bit of blue on there, you know, there's just something about kind of tying a few things together. So let's throw the blue on that one, and the blue on that one, and maybe a touch of it, just a spot of blue in here. It doesn't have to be everywhere. There. Very nice. And just this foreground, it actually already has a bit of a shimmer. I like that. I like that color coming through. Very nice. I'm going to put these away. So, that's fun. It's like a little aquarium. I like it. Do we need to change anything? I wonder what we would change if we uh, wanted to add on to it or modify anything. So if you have any suggestions, you can add them in the comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the process, on the colors, uh, any questions that you have about the, the artwork or suggestions for what I should paint next. Appreciate that. Thanks very much for watching.